natural looking gemstones and I've also got this lovely lady. Hello Teresa, how are you? Hello, I'm all right, how are you? Really good, thank you. Give us a little bit of an idea of what to expect from your first designer inspiration in approximately 25 minutes. Um, that um, is very spring, fresh, um, a little bit funky hopefully um, and uh, yeah just really nice pastel springy colours. We love and your final design is something that we've all been a bit taken by. Describe that one to us. Um, classy, coppery loveliness. <laughs> good, good. I'm sold. I'm sold on that. So keep tuned with us today because I've got some real treats and real bargains. Let's get started. I've got so much fit in today. What I need you to do is get yourself on the phone lines as soon as you see something you like. We've been busy all morning. We were busy all yesterday afternoon. It's really important that you stick with us and you get in nice and quick. Now, I have got that nuggety goodness coming up later. And as part of that, I have these two strands of carnelian. These are going to be Teresa's challenge today. And I have to admit, a really unusual challenge, aren't they? These huge carnelian. Brand new strands I'm bringing to you here. There's 215 carats worth on each. These are your faceted large nuggets. And the size, we're looking from around 15 by 11 to 22 by 16 mil. Each of these on a 20 centimeter strand. Now, these are huge. These are so large in size. Have you got anything that springs to mind instantly, Teresa? Um, well, I think they're large enough to kind of separate out and have um, just one as a pendant. Um, I think it probably wouldn't be me if I wasn't wire wrapping. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm just trying to kind of think what else I might be able to do that isn't, uh, isn't just kind of wire wrapped, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just have to have a bit of a think about um, what shapes I might be able to play with. And, yeah, yeah, and what you can use these. Yeah. For a challenge, we will let the lovely Teresa have a little... Um, rustle through the cupboard behind her in which she's got some wire and some fine and some just odd bits and bobs the only rule is these have got to be the headliner these have got to be incorporated into every piece that she creates so two strands 430 carats worth i think that name giant nugget is completely right 22 by 16 and although they're called nuggets they are faceted which is not what you might expect from a nugget from the outset but you've got beautiful faceting on these so for two strands what do you think to five pounds each that's really good i personally think what do you think that's amazing. I mean, Carnelian, it tends to command a bit higher price anyway. Yeah. Um, and particularly when you've got um, such a, a deep colour and such consistency of colour with them. Yeah. Um, they are just gorgeous. So, I'd, I mean, one strand I'd have gone at least £10 on. Yeah, for just one strand yeah. you'd go £10. So if I can do these for five or each, you'd be chuffed. I'd be very chuffed, yeah. Well, it'd be rude if I didn't. <laughs> How about I do a bit better? £8.95 for both. I've counted mine. I've got 18 of these huge beauties, which works out per one, 49 pence for this huge, huge gemstone. That's even bigger than a... You know that I'm a big blingy ring kind of girl, but even that's a bit massive for me. 49 pence. That is exceptional. There is so many of you on the phone for this. I would say that those ooh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of you that have got it in your webs or are talking on the phone, stay where you are if you are on the web. Check out your baskets. 2.95, you know all of this until midnight tonight, but the offers only stay until nine. So fill up your baskets till midnight. Treat yourself, check out. £8.95 for both of them. Do you 
fancy a little sneaky peeky of something I'm going to be bringing to you in a little bit? Do you like £8.95 as a price for two shrouds? If, if you're a fan of that price, you're going to need to stay tuned. Two strands again, emerald. I can't say any more. I cannot say any more, ladies and gentlemen, but these two strands of emeralds together will be coming up. Not too far away, not too far. But if you like that price, just, just stay. So, I have got loads for you. We're going to start off with luxury for less. And honestly, when I say luxury, I mean luxurious luxury for some steals of prices today. So, you're all there, you're all on the phone. It's really important you check out. 50% of my stock has gone on this already. So we knew we were going to have a busy day. It's been absolutely packed, hectic all weekend, actually. We knew we were going to have a crazy time. It's important you stay where you are. But I'm going to be moving through quite quick, as I've said today. So just keep up, keep up. Luxury for less. Carnelian, chill out. Where are we going, Pippalin? I'm so glad I get to show you this. You already know when something gets delivered to you in this almost metallic sheen silver box with the Gems of Distinction logo on it that this is going to be special. You already have that sense of beauty. Tanzanite. Oof. Tanzanite is an interesting gemstone, isn't it? We've been saying for a long, long time that Tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than diamond. Now, new studies are saying it could be closer to 2,000 times rarer than diamond. Its rarity, of course, is increasing all the time. But ask yourself this question. Six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, how many times did you used to see Tanzanite? I remember when I first started, when I first started here about four months ago, I brought to you Tanzanite in like my first or second show. I remember talking about the rarity of it, but I had like three or four strands, different strands in the show. And at that time, even four months ago, we did used to have two, three, maybe four strands of Tanzanite per show. I haven't brought you Tanzanite, me personally, in weeks. But I've got some for you here today. And it's the ever so popular blue tone of tanzanite 25 carats worth now tanzanite's a really interesting gemstone because a lot of the time when you look for tanzanite possibly not from us maybe um, online or wherever else you might get your uh, gemstones from tanzanite a lot of the time has this purple appearance to it doesn't it it's really really nice that i'm able to bring you this gorgeous blue now, I really wish you could see the quality of this. If we focus on this, let me try and get an eye for this. Keep an eye on the colour. Can you see that purple? You see how it goes really light blue in the middle, but then you turn it and it has this purple appearance. It does it much better to eye. Now, that goes to show the quality of this. Essentially, Tanzanite has um, got a bi-colour to it when you get it within the rough. You have a very small amount of blue and quite a lot of purple. Now, when you see purple-coloured Tanzanite, that a lot of the time is due to the cut. If the lapidist decides to cut this in a way that there's more purple shining through, that, although it's very attractive and some people do like it, that actually is a little bit of a cheat's way of getting a lot of tanzanite. Because tanzanite, when it's built up, there is such a thin layer of blue that to get the blue to shine across, because the light goes through the blue quicker than through the purple, to get a blue colour to it, you have to cut it so specifically and get a lot of that small layer. When you see purple tanzanite, that's actually due to the lapidus deciding that they want weight over appearance. Blue tanzanite, especially due to um, Tiffany & Co, when they got the really blue, really high quality, the blue tanzanite is more popular um, you know, around the world. Obviously, it's personal preference, but it's seen as much more luxurious. 
And that is also the case because if a lapidurist is just thinking about carrot weight, just thinking about the amount of gem he can offer, the cheapest, quickest and easiest way to cut it is to give you that purple-like appearance. The fact that you have got flashes of purple and blue in here is extraordinary. I don't think I've ever had so much of almost this pleochrismic effect to tanzanite before. So, what price are we thinking? On the website, at the moment, it's 30 carats, so only five carats more than what I'm offering you today, and it's 49 pounds and 95 pence. Now I've seen that strandness, and for me personally, it doesn't have this purple to blue hue about it like this one does. So for five carats extra, you're paying £49.95. I'm going to give you a cracking deal on this today. It's beautiful, it is serious quality for the box, the presentation box. And this strand today, you're paying a tiny £34.95. We used to say to you that this was going, going, gone. We used to say it's so hard to get your hands on, it's one locational. I'm sure you'll agree that that is becoming more and more true every single day. We haven't been able to get our hands on this in ages. A long, long time. Because it is one locational gemstone, it's looking now to be around 2,000 times rarer than diamond. It's so extravagant, it's so elegant, and this truly is luxury for less. I will say that you need to check out your baskets on this one, please, for me today. £34.95. J-I-G-Z-53. And you're getting this stunning presentation box to go with it as well. Isn't this so pretty? I love tans tonight. So nice that I get to bring you some now and again. How about a bit of brightness? This is spring. Peridot makes me always makes me think of where it was first said to be mined around 3,000 years ago. It was um, mined on an island that's now called St. John's Island, but it was um, called Topazius, the island name, and it used to be mined there. And it always reminds me of the story, which apparently is completely and absolutely true, that back in the day when miners used to mine this on that island, they used to only mine it in the evening, in the night time, because it collects the light and it stored the light, so at night time it would glow. And they actually believed that when they went to search for it in the day, because the rays of sun hadn't come down and it hadn't stored up all this energy, they actually believed that Peridot was invisible during the daytime hours, which I think is such a mystical and magical story. It's completely true, it's not a myth or legend. But they used to just go and mine for this late at night, as soon as darkness came, because this gemstone just glowed. I think it's such a wonderful story, and I can completely understand why they believe that. Just look at how bright it is. 85 carats worth you have of your peridot today. These are your graduated irregular plain drops. 30 centimeter strands, again, wonderful amount. And you know what? really s squidged on professional terminology the squidge really really loads on there umgk35 the price is a tiny six pounds and 95 pence honestly i've got something for every pocket in luxury for less in fact for the whole show in my nuggety goodness i'm not afraid to tell you I've got strands under five pounds coming up for you. I know, Ben. Oh, you just went like that. Look at that. Six pounds and 95 pence is your price on this today. Oh, so beautiful. Glowing gorgeousness. Six pounds and 95 for you today. I love bifringence within this. Just 
bend the light, so wonderful. I've got for you now something else with just a real high glow factor. Have a look. This is a strand of my beer quartz. Isn't that, it's just captivating. 95 carats worth of this and these are your graduated plain rondelles if you are interested in high brilliance high shine high refractive index on wednesday i have got natalia's in with me doing i'm just going to say it vegetable tan leather making comedian dell'arte style masks it's just epic honestly i've seen them they're gorgeous but on that day because it's comedian delarte styly these kind of venetian masks we're going to do a day at the theater and one of those scenes is going to be spotlight so we're going to have really refractive really high index gemstones so if you like a little bit of bright shine tune in on wednesday one till five this shape unusual to have this shape isn't it to have these plain rondelles what would you think of doing with these lovely teresa um, I mean, well, I think they kind of shout um, cufflinks. Oh, you're completely right. Button style. Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, especially so right. um, with some of the, um, the blouses and shirts that um, the women are wearing is because it's such a feminine um, sort of look then. Um, but also, I think I'd be um, sort of turning them so it is kind of um, the flat sides facing, um, making a pendant out of that with a bit of wire sort of coming across the top of it. Like a button style like yeah. this. 95 carats this was when we played desert island gemstones a couple of weeks ago this was um debbie debbie bullsford's favorite gemstone she said we suggested it might be because if she was stuck on a desert island she'd be thinking of beer quite a bit she refused she said no it's just because it makes me happy yeah whatever debbie b we know the truth <laughs> your price for 95 carats of your beer courts today is not 14 pounds and 95 pence it's not it's been at that price you've bought it at that price but this is luxury for less i'm giving you luxury i need to give you the less bit nine pounds and 95 pence five pounds you're saving on this today luxury for less you need to get your hands on it quickly though because there's so many of you queuing waiting on the phone for this now. Nine pounds and 95 pence, you've got five pounds saving on this today. IPSF 45. Do you, do you ever get that feeling when you get certain gemstones brought to you that they almost make you feel like you need to sort of be quiet and whisper around them a little bit? This is how I feel about this strand. I know that says green, Sapphire. I'm thinking more silver. It's honestly just the faceting on these. Take a look for yourselves. It's stunning. If you got those diamonds this morning, could you imagine this working with it? Imagine creating a sapphire and diamond piece. This is one of those paparazzi strands, isn't it? You know, and I, as I'm sort of spinning it around, you feel like you're being taken loads of photos. I'm like, Teresa, strike a pose. It's like that, isn't it? It is absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? What would you think of doing with this strand? Um, I don't, because they're all quite, quite small um, pieces, so probably um, kind of loading them up together would be really, really nice. Um, but I think some of the, um, the pieces that I've done um, where you've got kind of the wire frame mm. um, and then them kind of dotted around the, the wire frame, I think they would look absolutely gorgeous. Um, enough of them to make an impact, but you can actually eke them out as well. Honestly, it just, it's t so exceptional. Okay, so with Sapphire, we know what we're looking for. We're looking for clarity. Let me tell you, this is, I brought you yellow Sapphire on the other day and that was so clear. This is as clear. I honestly got to be 
up there with the clearest of sapphires I've ever seen. There's no fibrous inclusions in here whatsoever. Get them home to really appreciate them. If you were lucky enough to get your hands on those diamonds, how much would you charge for a pair of diamond and sapphire earrings? Especially those gorgeous black diamonds. This would go so well. 18 centimeter strand, luxury for less. We've got the luxury, let me give you it for less. £49.95 for you today. For this amount of luxury, that is seriously less. Especially with the situation at the moment, with green sapphire, almost being classed as extinct because it hasn't been found in so, so long. £49.95 for you today. Imagine these just clustered together even just even just as a really small section of a bracelet I mean really small how sparkly is this if you're a bit of a magpie you're gonna love it when you get this home you truly are even just as a little bracelet and even to do a bracelet this is a full amount bracelet for it to touch at the back I've got loads left over £49.95, you've got to be quick on this today though. Genuine, stunning sapphire, £49.95. So, I brought to you before the carnelian, didn't I? And I said, if you like the points of the carnelian, stay tuned because I would bring you some serious luxury for around the same price. Two strands of genuine emerald, 100 carats worth. And these are in your squares. Totally natural emerald. No treatment, no fill, nothing. These are your emerald city squares. Mm. Emerald is said to help, help you see not only the inner you, the true you, but also give you hope. Which is why, in The Wizard of Oz, the Emerald City was called the Emerald City. Because they hoped to get there, and once they did get there, of course, they knew that they had courage and brains and things. And that is exactly why it's thought to be such a hopeful gemstone. I hope you're going to love the price I'm going to do. It's special. Get yourself on the phones now, please. If you liked the price I brought to you for that carnelian two strands, because I'm doing better. Seven pounds 85 pence on this for you today. Two strands of genuine untreated emerald. These haven't got glass in them. These aren't resin. These aren't heat treated. They're from mother nature, shaped, polished, and brought to you. Two strands, 7.85, not each, Per strand. Thank you very much to those people who got yourself on the phones when I gave you a little heads up for these. This is the first time you've seen these strands. They're brand new strands. It's going to be the last time you see them as well, more than likely. More than likely the last time. Plenty of new customers. Hello, newbies. Don't forget, if you are new, you'll get your DVD today. You'll get a little booklet. You'll get loads of information on our website. And if you are new, join our Facebook page as well. Jewelry Maker um, Facebook. Type it into the searchy bit. Because there's loads of people on there. People sending pictures. People are asking questions. Just join, join the Jewelry Maker family if you are new today. £7.85 for two of these. Want to say hello to Glenda, Leslie, Julie, Yvonne, Wendy, Margaret, Jane, Beverly, Vera, Laura, Sandra, Susan, Amanda, Anne-Marie, Rihanna, Catherine, 
Marion's just come on in Lincolnshire. Hello, Marion. Loads and loads of you going for this. Not even a slight surprise to me. If you do totally love this, you have to be quick because half of my stock's gone. It's going to be the first and last time you see it. I'm doing you two strands of Genuine Emerald for £7.85. What would you think of doing with the shape of Emerald, Teresa? Um, I, I really love that shape because um, you can just kind of stack them up. Um, you, I mean, you could actually um, take some of the, the larger ones and the smaller ones so you can kind of graduate them up into either a pyramid sort of shape or even kind of diamond. Mm. Um, but So I'd be, that's what I'd be inclined to do, probably a nice pair of earrings um, with several of them on there. Um, I mean, maybe, you know, seven, nine maybe, um, just kind of stacked up on there. Be absolutely gorgeous. Started off with over a hundred. Thirty-five left. You're gonna have to be quick for this. Two strands of brand new, totally natural emerald, seven eighty-five. Do you know what? If you like that price, I've got loads of goodies coming up for you at that price. Well, near that price and lower. Got some under a fiver today. I've got Opal out oh, now. Let me show you some of my faves today. Look at my Opal. There is, the lights in here are not doing this justice. Do you know what, in the break, Maybe we can go and find a dark corner somewhere and have a little spin of this because the lights in here are just bleaching it out. Have a look at it, the recording though. Look at the opal essence on this. And if I say to you, you're gonna be getting that strand for less than 50 pounds. Yep. Way less. 18 left of my emeralds at this moment in time. £7.85. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 in baskets. So if you want this, you need to get on the phone now because you've only got two chances left, essentially. £7.85. Joe, what else I've got coming up for you? Some serious quality Labradorite. We've got team picks today. And this is one of them. That's high quality, isn't it? Price on this, you're gonna absolutely adore as well. Pearls, some Neon Appetite. I've got Morganite. Flush Cutters. Loads, just loads today. And it's all gonna be quacking deals, quacking prices. So after the break, we are heading over to the wonderful Teresa and we will be having a look at her superbly sumptuous spring inspirations. Stay where you are. <laughs> I think Labradorite, when you think about it, is as beautiful as a diamond because it gives you, for me, more amazement than a diamond. You look at it and it does something really unexpected, like a lightning bolt. Labradorite is one of those gemstones from Jewelry Maker that is always going to be a top seller. The Labradorite that you get from Jewelry Maker has got extreme amounts of Labrador essence. The colour saturation is just superb and that's really indicative of the quality that we can get for you here at Jewellery Maker. Um, it seems to reflect your moods as well, whatever kind of mood you're in, whatever you put it with, it seems to bring out those gorgeous colours so it really is a true chameleon gemstone. Get involved with Jewellery Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show, simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker.
When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Good afternoon everybody or good evening if you're watching at night. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Becky and if you are still on the phone for those two strands of emerald for £7.85, stay where you are. I have got a handful left. I started with over 100. There's about a minute queue on the phone but it's going to be worth the wait as, as you know. I am joined today by the wonderful Teresa. Hello, Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now I know you've been with us quite a while now, but maybe for someone who's just tuning in, we've had loads of new people today, give us a little bit of a summary. Who you are? Um, oh, hi, I'm Teresa. Um, <laughs> I've been making jewellery since I was a teenager, um, varying um, types. Actually, I did start with gemstones, but I mean, the kind of the undrilled kind of things that um, I, I wire wrapped actually mm -hmm. um, and then a few years ago I sort of thought right I'm gonna get into jewelry making a bit more um, but there wasn't any gemstones around so I discovered um, jewelry maker um, so I was using a lot of glass um, and then uh, moved into to gemstones um, and wire really so yeah so you've it's it's a rel it's something you've done for a long time but relatively recently working with gemstones themselves um, yeah, yeah, in um, kind of bead form. In the bead form. Um, yes, yeah, um, and I like to kind of dabble with lots of different um, mediums, lots of different styles as well, so um, just see what works really, have a play. Now on Designer Inspirations what we do is we send our lovely guest designers a kit a week or so in advance and they get a little bit of time to play with it and make some gorgeous creations and what we like to do is we don't only show you step by step how to create some of the pieces but we also like to offer you the kit so that you are able to make the pieces at home yourself. So make a note of today's date, you can watch us back on our Jewellery Maker YouTube page and today you will be learning how how to make some of these stunning springtime creations. Isn't that so springtime? Yeah, which designer are we thinking of, ladies and gentlemen? Yep, looks like that a bit, doesn't <laughs> it? And you've got a beautiful ring and pair of earrings to match the pieces as well. So, out of your kit, did you? Um, what did you think when you first saw the kit all together? Uh, I, I mean, I think they're lovely. Um, I, I particularly asked for the different colours of wire because mm -hmm. um, I quite like using different colours. But I think up until now, I've sort of put the copper and the silver, and the antique bronze and the silver, and silver and the gold. Um, and I thought, no, actually, I'm going to go with some of the um, the the proper colours, um, if you like, the fresher colours. Um, and yeah, when I kind of saw them, I just thought, wow, that is really going to work. I got that kind of springtime idea in mind. Yeah. Um, then, of course, I opened the gemstones and it was, yeah, um, love at first sight. I think they just go so well together. It all just clicks, doesn't yeah. it? So let's start off with what you're getting. You're going to be getting 40 metres of wire, three gemstone strands and a finding pack. One mil, 10 metres of pink wire, 10 metres of 0.4 in the pink, 10 metres of 1 mil in the gold, and 10 metres of 1 mil in your chartreuse. You've also got the gold findings pack. So in here, this is the one that's got all those lovely, um, you've got the twisted, jump rings, you've got the um, flat based head pins, you've got a long length of the gold chain, you've got in there as well 15 of the ball head pins, the, the thin ones, the featherweight ones, 
everything you can see on screen is what you'll be getting in this findings pack today including of course the handmade gemstone jewelry organza bag but let's get to the fun bit my favorite bit the gemstones themselves three strands in here and wow do they pop you've got in here your strand of the faceted rose quartz 80 carats worth of this these are your six mil rounds you've also got in here 120 carats of your green fluorite in these faceted puffy coins eight mil these are and finally you have got this really wonderful coated strand of quartz my carat weight on this strand is a hundred carats wow 100 carats worth on this strand STGC32 is today your discount code if you were to buy all of this separately online now you'll be paying 44 pounds and 10 pence for the three strands the four reels and the findings pack STGC32 it's your discount code if you type that in before nine o'clock you won't be paying 44 pounds 10 but this discount code has an expiry you've got to use it now today to get this bundle for just 27 pounds and 95 pence today that is a massive saving of hang on let's try and do some maths here uh, what is it? 15, 16, Teresa, you're not helping. No, I'm not. <laughs> 16 pounds, 15 pence, the computer says. That's a stunning saving. What do you think of that? Uh, I, I, I think it's brilliant. I mean, I think it's a brilliant um, price for the, uh, the stones that you get and the, the wire that you get. Um, and I think it's so nice to have the um, the ten mil uh, the ten meter reels mm. of different colours. You can just have a bit of a play with, really. Yes. So what you could do is, if you thought about splitting it up into sections, say into three, you'd be only paying nine pounds thirty for your findings, nine pounds thirty for all this wire, and nine pounds thirty for all the gemstones. If you think of it like that, it just goes to show what a massive saving you're getting. Yeah. And how much would you look at, say, selling one of these pieces for? I actually have no idea how I would kind of um, cost them up. Mm -hmm. um, it's so different to um, the stuff that I've done before as well. Yeah. Um, that uh, I haven't even kind of got that, <laughs> that far to figure it out. Um, I mean, you'd probably for the necklaces, you'd have to be talking 20, 30 pound before you begin thinking about it, really. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So one of the necklaces I guess you'd be um, be paying for the, the kit really. So for a suite with the with all of these, for a suite of this uh, this collection, you'd be paying what? Fifty, sixty pounds possibly, for the yeah. full suite. So you can make your money back even technically just by selling two of these pieces. Yeah. One even, one necklace. Yeah. 27 pounds and 95 pence it's your design inspiration spring blossom today those people on the phone lines please do check it out for me because there's about six of you that i can see on there that aren't checking it out make sure you do your discount code is only for a limited time stgc32 you're saving over 16 quid on this 27 pounds and 95 pence for you today so lovely Teresa where are we starting um well I thought I'd start with the um the flowers really from the necklace yes um and how to put those together um because it's a, a bit of a kind of a difference um it, it was one technique that I knew of before and then I kind of expanded on it as well mm -hmm. um so I thought we'd kind of start there and obviously um well, maybe not obviously actually um in order to make them you need jump rings so you need to make jump rings mm -hmm. out of the wire um I thought I'd just kind of run through um a couple of 
bits really um, about making the, the jump rings themselves. Okay. Um, for the larger flowers, um, I've used a 10 millimeter mandrel, um, and the smaller ones use the eight millimeter mandrel, um, which unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, I've got both of them. Um, <laughs> it's the two, um, the two versions of the jump ring maker. Okay. Um, so this is the smallest one of the, um, the larger um, set. Um, is the 10 mil, um, whereas the other one's the, the largest one of the smaller set. Okay. Um, but that just seemed to be what worked for the, the flowers for me. Um, and I, I'm, I'm quite sold on the gizmo, I have to admit. I'm quite into making coils with the, with the gizmo. Um, so obviously this, you haven't got something to kind of hold the, the mandrel in. Um, you're having to kind of hold it yourself. Um, and I found um, really just I needed to play around with how to get the tension in order to get a decent coil to, to be able to cut. Mm -hmm. um, and so actually the, the top tip um, for that is to cut a piece of wire first. Okay. Um, and then pop it through the hole um, in the, uh, the jump ring maker. Okay. Um, and then spiral it round. Try and kind of move it round, hold it, hold it and the wire um, and move it round. Um, rather than wrapping the wire round because you don't tend to get as tight a coil. Um, so that is the, the tightest sort of way of doing that. I will be bringing you this tool in a moment or four. Oh, no, just because I said that, I've managed to sort of go off a bit. <laughs> um, I have to admit, I, I'm double jointed, so there is a, a way that I can hold it that I don't think there's any point in demonstrating because I don't think anybody else would be able, would be able to do able that. To. Um, <laughs> so this isn't the way I normally do it, but um, it is just trying to kind of hold both the wire and the mandrel, but keep the wire straight. Maybe if you just kind of held it on that, that hand. Um, no, that won't work. Um, so, but try and get your coil as tight as you can make it. Yeah. Um, it just seems to work if you take the, the wire off of the coil, um, off of the, the reel. Um, to, to actually make that, um, and then once you've got, um, once you've finished your, your wire up, um, you can just kind of unhook it from that hole and pop through. Um, and then, and just to kind of take the two ends off, and you've got your coil ready to cut into jump rings. Okay. Um, I saw cut my jump rings, um, but you could just sort of go in with the. Um, the pliers and, and put them. Um, for this design, you may find some of the um, the joins are um, out. You can sort of move it around to, to hide them all. Um, so it is worth kind of sawing them rather than um, actually snipping them. snipping them just to have the flushest. Cut I've got the join. saw coming up in moments. Let me bring to you this tool first though. So this is your jump ring maker, and this one's been opened, so they're <laughs> falling on me. Well, that's handy. Just get them all out. <laughs> so you've got in here, these are your four sized mandrels. So these, talk us through how we attach this. Um, you, um, i just undo uh, mine. Actually, I might have my smaller one to show you. Um, that one out. Um, you've got the um, plastic uh, sort of handle mm -hmm. um, with a little nut um, embedded in it um, and a little bit of screw thread yeah. um, in it um, and obviously the mandrel comes with a, um, a thread on it so all you need to do um, is take both of them and screw that in. Um, this one's a bit tight but um, and you're good to go, actually, that's it. Mm. Um, and then all you're needing to do um, in order to start is poke the, the end of the wire through that little hole, bend it down, um, and then you and can then be begin. starting with your, your coiling. So I've got in here the four different mand mandrel shapes. I've got the four mil, I've got the six mil, the seven mil, and the eight millimeter, these are the mandrels. You've also got in there your little um, twister as well. And one of my favorite ever tools is the jump ring opener. Yes. How amazing is this tool? I think it's fab. Yeah. How do yeah. you feel about it? It is, and actually, I. I I got here today and thought I haven't brought mine with me. Um, for this particular design, it's absolutely perfect as well. Um, it makes things a lot quicker to, to put them together um, with it. Um, I must admit, when I'm using kind of the really small jump rings and making kind of chain mail, um, I tend to open them with, all with that. 
um, and then faff about with you know two pairs of pliers to close them. Um, but um, for this one, uh, you can close it. You can close them with it as well. It is so simple to use. This is by far my favourite tool. If you are going to be tuning in for the chainmail tomorrow um, with Debbie B, then this honestly is absolutely essential for chainmail. Yeah. So essentially, if you think about opening a jump ring, normally you'll have to get two pliers and you'll have to open them like this, won't you? And then you'll have to put down the two pliers and lift it up. But with this, it's so much easier. Take a look at this. Bear with. He's trying to find it. I'll get your price in then. <laughs> RAGC for the ring mandrel and the ring opener, £6.95. So all you do is squeeze it together. Look, how easy is that? Very short but sweet. It's just so simple. Yeah. It saves you picking up two and opening and putting them back down to get another one and opening yeah. back up. It's literally. Dunk, dunk. Yeah, I have to. I think I had one. Um, I got one in a, um, a bundle of, of other bits and pieces, mm. and I didn't really think I needed it. I've got two pairs of pliers. I can per manage perfectly well with that, um, and it is amazing how much quicker it is. Um, so it was one of those things. I never realised I needed it until I had one. <laughs> yeah, it is one of those tools that you think, well, I can do without, but it makes life so much easier yeah. you think how did i two goodies for you today 16 left in total this is going to be a sellout six pounds and 95 pence for these it's so simple it's so easy to use get your hands on the jump ring maker and the jump ring opener and i will bring you as well the saw and saw blades too five of these left for you so talk to us about sawing these um, do you want me to do you want me to attempt to attempt yes to I would um, love that because two I've got left <laughs> one left it's a sellout six pounds 95 pence for you let's get back in your bundle do you want to do the saw now yeah so if you want to show us how yep. to do the um, saw right <laughs> right now um, this may go badly wrong. No, um, it won't. <laughs> because it does take a little bit more care and attention. The larger the rings, the more difficult it is to kind of hold them in there, the more they want to kind of flip around. Mm -hmm. And what I, I was just trying to do, kind of pu pushing it together, um, it does have a little bit of a habit of kind of going askew mm -hmm. as well. So you've got to be very careful with it. Um, having said that, I'll try it. Um, one thing, one sort of tip to, um, to try, normally when I'm cutting jump rings, I'll try and make that top. Um, piece as small as possible so I'm actually starting quite close to that yeah but it will wiggle around all over the place so I'm not going to worry about that I'm going to place them in the the pliers um, so actually that end um, because as with everything saw blades sometimes maybe if you go in with a thinner blade than you should and it might snap or perhaps you've had it for ages and ages and it snaps it's not the end of the world because you can just lower this down and you can still use just half of the blade. It's fab for that reason. And you're gonna get the saw blades as well. So in here, it goes from numbers one to six. And one is the thickest and six is the thinnest. So what we say is perhaps you might wanna use around a one or a two if you're gonna be working with perspex. But if you want to do jump rings, what number did you use for this jump ring? Um, I had a feeling it was a two zero, but I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, it could be. be. Could it be, might be a, a, a two one. quartz ones. Mm -hmm. um, although these have just such such sparkle. I know. <laughs> I think I might so. be a bit of a magpie. I kept getting drawn to them. <laughs> um, so all I've done with that is popped it through and then bent the two um, the two arms down, and that is going to go through my rows. Be careful that you you do keep everything in in place. Um, and take the two um, right through the centre of that, that rose, um, or that flower, um, and make sure it's sort of sitting just how you, you want it to, yeah. to sit. Um, and then what you need to do is sort of holding all of that together, so, which is very useful TV because you can't actually see any of it, um, splay those two wires out. 0.4. Um, actually, if I do that, I'll show you. Um, those two are sort of out. Um, the, the way that they're going um, so they're not crossing over um, and actually at that point it is actually held quite solidly um, is these aren't sort of going to go 